Their goal is to highlight environmental issues and preserve wildlife conservation. And for the second year in a row, several area groups are gathering for Earth Day. Sean Nolan and Pam Whitaker are here now with us this morning. Of course, Earth Day is Monday, but we're celebrating this weekend because we, we want There's a lot to do. And right? there's, uh, there's a lot of people that want to come out. So Yes, tell uh, us what you have going on. Absolutely. Uh, this is our second year for Earth Day Fort Wayne. Uh, we actually outgrew the space after our first year last year. Wow. And so this year we're actually closing Engel Road uh, at Eagle Marsh uh, to allow for a larger event site. So we're really excited about the uh, possibilities that brings. allows many more people to come out and enjoy themselves. About how many people are you expecting? We could expect anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 people. Wow. Uh, so we, um, we had an awful lot of people come out last year in our first year. And uh, so we recognized that we needed to create more uh, space for the event. Uh, we're going to have more than, um, more than 20 different uh, uh, envir environmentally minded uh, conservation organizations uh, that are going to come out and uh, help us celebrate all that's being done in Fort Wayne. Let's talk about some of the events that you'll have going on there at the Marsh and along Angle Road. Sure. So we're going to have a, a 5K walk that takes people uh, uh, out through part of Eagle Marsh. Uh, that's a, a fundraising aspect to the event. Uh, we're going to have an activity tent uh, featuring all of those different uh, nonprofits and some of our sponsors. Uh, we've got nature education stations. We've got a, a plant plug uh, planting. Uh, we've got all kinds of things, wonderful, uh, uh, great kids' activities as well. So it's definitely an, an event for the entire family. In honor of Earth Day, why is it important that people come out and get some knowledge, show their support? Well, it's important to recognize uh, that there's a lot going on, and there's an awful lot going on here that people may not know about, uh, but should, should be very, very proud of. Uh, and uh, is, this is just a great way to uh, celebrate all the work that's being uh, done in our community. And Pam, you have this beautiful <laughs> owl here. I mean, education really is an important part uh, of Earth Day and yes. learning about our environment, learning about the animals around us. C talk about your role. Well, our role is to uh, rescue and rehab birds of prey, which would be owls and hawks and the occasional eagle. And we actually do have an eagle right now that has been rehabilitated and he's new at going out to presentations and we hope to bring him out to Eagle Marsh tomorrow. Um, so we bring in injured birds and we have a veterinarian on site and she will assess the injury and try to uh, try to help the bird and then we fly the bird and when we think that he's releasable we release them which is our goal. And the ones that have injuries that are too severe, we keep them as educational birds and take them around to the community and teach the public all about raptors and how to protect them because they are good for the environment. They eat a lot of rodents. Right, right, <laughs> yes. So, now this is the Apollo you said? Yes. So he will, will he be released into the wild or is no, he? No, he has a wing injury. Uh, he was hit by a car so he has a wing injury and he can't fly well enough to be released. And we've had him for about three years. Great horned owl. Aww. Well, hey, thank you guys both so much for being here this morning. Let's find thank out you. how we can go thank to these you. events. Earth Day is taking place tomorrow from 1 to 5. All of the activities are happening at Eagle Marsh. That's off of Angle Road. Angle itself will be closed to traffic from 9 tomorrow morning to 9 tomorrow night for vendors to set up activities along the road. And uh, is, that, is that free to the public? It is. Okay, great.